Welcome, Guardians, to the Age of Triumph second video reveal review. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that if you enjoy, you will consider liking, subscribing, and following me here on YouTube and also on Twitch and Twitter. First, a super quick recap. The big news from last week, The Age of Triumph will be released on March the 28th, 2017. The two key features teased last week are an Age of Triumph record book and weekly featured raids at 390 light. Now, let's get on to the new stuff. The big news this week is a new 12-step quest from the speaker for The Age of Triumph called The Age of Triumph. A new Daybreak modifier for Nightfall Strikes, updated Challenge of the Elders, and a new weekly heroic story playlist. We do seem to be losing the Daily Crucible event from the director. We are also getting a few updates to Eververse centering around a new Treasure of the Ages and a lot more selection at the Silver Dust Kiosk. Let's start with the Treasure of the Ages. This is a reward box which offers random rewards from every sort of treasure box that has been in Destiny 1, and a few new items such as armor and updated exotic ornaments. In addition to being able to earn three Treasures of the Ages per week through Weekly Crucible, Weekly Story, and Heroic Strikes, they will be available for purchases at the Eververse store, much as you can buy treasures today. Of particular note, spotted in the Treasures of the Ages are new exotic ornaments for No Land Beyond, Necrochasm, Vex Mythoclast, Touch of Malice, Dragon's Breath, Lord of Wolves, and Suros Regime. There may be more, but that's all I can confirm at this time. Moving on to the Silver Dust Kiosk. This is much expanded with five pages of items available, including the exotic ornaments and what seems like all the emotes from all of Destiny 1. Moving on to the actual gameplay goodness. Shax is going to have an additional weekly bounty. They said for 6v6 game types, it was implied but not made clear that both bounties would be for 6v6, but it is possible they meant just the new extra bounty. One of these bounties will be for the featured weekly Crucible playlist. You can also trade Silver Dust for a Crucible Armor Engram. Moving on to PvE. The first thing they talked about was the return of the Challenge of the Elders at 390 light. This is the same as the level 41 version we're used to, but at the current light level cap. You still need one of the passes from Varix, and you can expect the same sort of rewards, just more of them. To quote them, generous as Frick. In addition, you're guaranteed a legendary engram for your first completion and 10 legendary marks for each of your first three weekly completions. Next, Bungie talked about the changes to Nightfall. The main change is the addition of the Daybreak Strike modifier. The Daybreak modifier is essentially the Epic modifier plus the Mayhem modifier we are accustomed to in PvP. It can appear instead of Epic and alongside other modifiers. The modifier should show up about once a month, and there is a planned six-week block of Daybreak Strikes planned starting July 18th through the end of August. In addition, we can expect to see the return of Year One's Blue Flaming Heads as a reward for completing Nightfall, including the XP boost. Moving on, changes to the Heroic Siva Strike playlist are minimal. Essentially, they're just adding Treasures of the Ages as a reward. The daily story has been replaced with a weekly Heroic playlist. Rewards include a Treasure of the Ages for your first completion and 20 Legendary Marks for each of your first five completions. That's right, you can earn 100 Legendary Marks per week by doing the story. This is the first time modifiers have been applied to strikes since the Queen's Wrath event at the start of Destiny Year One back in 2014. Presumably, we'll see all of the modifiers applied to strikes and other activities enabled here. 
Each week we'll focus on certain parts of the story, or story missions in certain locations. Mars and Venus featured on the stream, but they said the first week would be Earth and Moon. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm pretty excited about these changes. I do think they missed some opportunities with the Daybreak Strike modifier. I was really hoping for a Daybreak Strike playlist. But overall, I think this is going to be a fun way to end our Destiny 1 experience. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped some of you. Please tell your fellow Guardians. Spreading the word is the best way to support the channel. Comments also help immensely, even if you just comment to say you're supporting the channel. Please subscribe and like to help encourage me to make more. You can follow me on Twitter for the latest Destiny news, information, talk, and tips. You can also find me on Twitch. I can't say it enough. Viewers make the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you starside, Guardians.